Well, for more on the Detroit Auto Show, the global car industry, and the growing influence of high tech on our cars, I'm joined by Lee Xiaopeng, live from San Francisco. He's the chief technical officer from Ingdan, a firm that specializes in the Internet of Things. Welcome, Xiaopeng. Hi, Michelle. Now, a person going to see the latest gadgets at CES may not necessarily be in the market for a big ticket item like a car. So what is it about shows like CES that's increasingly drawing car makers? I think just as the rest of the uh, Internet of Things industry, car is no exception. As uh, one of the most important things uh, around people, the car industry is really transforming to more intelligence, uh, more uh, auto, uh, autonomous driving uh, uh, in, in the technical uh, sector. So that's why you know, so many car makers are now actually going CS, you know, to uh, find more technologies, more suppliers there. So it does seem to be really a, a natural progression, as it were. Now, you are actually at CES. So what's your take on some of these well-known car brands now refocusing their attention towards these big, big tech events like CES rather than the traditional car shows? I think one of the uh, uh, important things is, uh, uh, nowadays is about artificial intelligence. That's uh, uh, including, you know, uh, computer vision uh, uh, and uh, all the intelligence around uh, uh, how to process uh, the sensor data and how to make uh, driving uh, a safe, uh, uh, more safer and uh, more fun. So that's why uh, the car makers, you know, nowadays, you know, uh, take a, uh, a deep look into uh, the newer technology uh, nowadays. Now that's why they go to see, uh, CES. Oh. Now, what about some of the brands? Which are the brands that are really using these tech platforms the most successfully? I think uh, uh, some of the uh, traditional uh, car makers, uh, I saw uh, Hyundai, uh, I saw uh, some Japanese cars. And uh, I saw uh, Volkswagen, uh, they are really big in, in this space. Now, you also have a lot of brands competing for attention at tech shows. It's a really sprawling space there. So does that make it harder or easier for car makers to really stand out at those sorts of events? Uh, I think uh, uh, that's, uh, that's not a, a problem at all. Uh, uh, I think, you know, the traditional car makers, they still go to uh, the auto show. But in CS, uh, uh, these cars, uh, especially newer uh, cars with uh, new functions, uh, they really stand out. And just quickly, how do you expect this cross-pollination of tech shows and car shows to affect other auto shows and the wider industry going forward? Uh, I think uh, uh, they are uh, helping each other uh, in some sense. Um, CS bring uh, the more uh, uh, intelligent stuff. Uh, also, the uh, other sh auto shows, uh, they uh, uh, most from the traditional car company, also newer uh, car company startups uh, are also joining uh, the auto show as well. They are helping each other. Well, it definitely seems auto shows will have to step their game up to compete. Thank you so much. We'll have to leave it there. Our thanks to Li Xiaopeng, Chief Technical Officer for Ingdan.